I needed to move quickly to stop the developer from moving forward with breaking ground on the burial cave property. So I researched online and I found a person whose name is Pali Kapu Deadman and he was involved in protecting a mass burial ground in 1989 against the Ritz Carlton Kapalua Hotel. It's been said that there are a lot of times that bones have been taken out in the past and up to a point there have been bones taken up here. And the thing is that we have watched it and at this time we can no longer stand it. As Hawaiians, we feel that our bones cannot be taken out anymore and we are not going to allow this to happen anymore. And it took this case, it took the finding of this many bones here, the, the, the disinterment of 870 bones, for us to come to that realization that we have to take a stand and stop this from happening here on Maui, on Hawaii, on Oahu, on Kauai, wherever it happens, we have to stop the state from giving permits to developers to take our bones out. We don't want them out and we want these bones here returned. We speak for thousands of years of Hawaiians before and thousands to come. Regardless of what the other nationalities may, may think, we as Hawaiians think this is sacrilegious. It's against our traditional beliefs and it has to stop. Polly, we're here at um, Honokahua and how, how do you remember this place? Do you remember? None of this was here when we were here protesting. It was just brand new ground being opened up with the barrels inside. But the dooms were there and it was like facing the beach. Let's go walk a little bit. Yeah, well, that wasn't here. There was a lot of things not here. Okay. Uh, this is an area that is not open for walking on unless you have permission from certain people do you have permission already from those people my ancestors i'm sorry sir um it's our job to ask that people don't walk on this area unless they've been given permission from the person who is the caretaker of this area and it's a family's job to come look at our family i understand that but i don't know who you are so. well i'm a hawaiian look just my job this is my job I'm over here. That's over there. That's your job. God, oh, the ignorant people, man. I mean, where, how far we've come from that time to now? You know, does she know that we were here stopping her from digging us up? She doesn't know that. She doesn't really know the real meaning of this. Why doesn't she know? Your cultural specialist who's in charge of culture it's not orientation to this lady about who we are and how we should be treated. That's not a specialist. It's a guy just a job opportunity, man. Because he's got a job, he's got brown skin, he got a brown skin name, he's an expert. I listened to Pali at Honokahua as he shared with me the burials he saw at the desecrated burial site. But it was very desecrating and bad feelings because you would see little pieces of tarps and if you lift up the tarp there was a skull or there was some bones and they were all over the place so what the archaeologists did was hire everybody he could uh, amateur archaeologists part-time job anybody that was in the field or get done his job or his contract before we came um, there was so much EV that he couldn't do it Okay, how many people he hired? I mean, they stopped at 1,200. How much was more left in there? So it was a major burial site. I feel our ancestors crying out. I cannot see the children being dug up like this. I cannot see our people, our ancestors being dug up like this. Pow! You can Can you see your grandparents and your families being dug up? We don't go to your grave sites and dig up your families and take your jewelry and take all your possessions, all your private possessions out and put them in your museums to show the tourists. 